we are at another Goodwill up here in Canton. Um, I think the road is Fulton Road. I might be wrong. Um, again, I'll put the address as I walk in the store. Um, so we're going to go in. I've never been to this one either. and I'm very excited. So let's go. All right, so this store is, is on Fulton. Um, right inside the doors, great big store, tons of clothes. Still not as big as the one in Finley, but huge. Um, I went straight back <laughs> to the hard goods. I did stop to see what pair of pants or leggings. I think it was like five something. I'll have to put it on there for you. Um, I went straight back to the hard goods because I was like, I just want to go look. <laughs> uh went just straight into the clear glass there's the mugs cake plates they had a lot of stuff here like i actually bought things here and not necessarily just for resale i think i bought oh, excuse me i think i bought a couple things to resell these glasses <laughs> were 4.33 a piece i should have bought them um a set of 4 of them can sell for like $60 and there were 6 there so i i could have made some money on it but for me, I would have bought them for a different idea and instead of reselling for a side project I'm doing. That's what I would have purchased them for. Um, and I don't know if I wanted to pay four times six, what is it, 36? Something, I don't know. Um, this Fridgy here, I think it was a, a newer one. The lid didn't seem to want to close. And it was all taped up so it doesn't move. But I went ahead and put it in my cart just to go look. Um, it resembles one that was like a 1930s pattern of when it was made. Um, but I th at the, the, the top of the lid looked different than the rest of the ones that I was seeing on eBay. So I think it was either reproduction or just more modern. Um, so I just put it back because the lid didn't fit right. And that for me made me wonder, like, is it the right lid? It might not even be the right lid. <laughs> So I left it. Eventually, I did. Those cups there were Mickey Mouse cups, but the appliques on the front was very uh, worn off. These bowls had little Melifiore uh, spots in them, and you could feel them that they were made into the bowl. And it was neat. Um, I've never seen them with just little dotted ones. I, you know, I've seen the full ones. So it was neat to see to see them in there like that. A dollar thirty-three for the glasses with the N on them. Fultz graph. Pitcher. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was. Um, I did buy this cup, this mug, to resell. Uh, I've had really good luck with big mugs, like handmade pottery. Um, big mugs that hold a lot of liquid. I've have had really good luck with those. So I picked that up. Little tiki heads there. And then this was right on the other side. It was like Halloween. And I was so, I, I loved it because these pumpkins are so cute. They remind me of uh, the night, Nightmare Before Christmas of how his hat is so thin. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so cute. I was so happy because I haven't seen so much Halloween in a long time. And the little figurines was adorable. Ah, uh, my boys are out there wrestling. So I would say Trey is not asleep. I thought he was asleep. But he's out there attacking his older brother right now, so... This is a very pretty candlestick. I really wish that there was two. It was nice, heavy crystal. It was so pretty. There was only one there, though, and I really wish there had been two. Look at that great camera work. Getting real up and close for you. <laughs> the price was on the bottom, and I did not even want to try to pick that thing up. It was so heavy, so I, I didn't look at the price of that. <laughs> this was just a little dish with a flower frog, a metal flower frog on it. And I was just trying to see if it was silver. Um, I have no experience recognizing silver and not silver, so I was just looking for marks. <laughs> yeah, 
And then this is one of the end caps. It's brown. These plates here in bowls um, was very pretty. Like, I really liked the pattern, and they had a whole bunch of them down there. Um, they was I think they were more modern than they was vintage, but they were very pretty. Hey, Mom. Hi. And this bunny rabbit was a hobbyist, and he was so cute. Look at that face. I am going to have my nephew, I think, make me the, this for my bubble wrap. For my bubble wrap. Um, I think it's, it's like a paper towel holder, but it sits on the table. And I think that would be good to hold up my bubble wrap. So, I'll have to get a hold of Jacob and see if he can make it for me. And this was just a little package of bowls, a serving bowl, and, and um, <laughs> I knocked down the family love. Uh, the serving spoons is more like, I think, like a salad bowl, because those are probably like salad tossers. My hair is looking funky. Okay. This was very cute and very vintage. It was blue and it was plastic, and I think it just had the flowers on it. It had everything in it, the the ice clampers inside, everything was there, and it looked very clean. Um, this is another end cap here with their pink items. The dog just came back here and laid down. And then this is into their metal aisle here. Little brass. Uh, Bells, but taper hand, but taper holders, taper taper candle holders. <laughs> Boy, now it's getting dark. You can really see my scar. <laughs> ah, that's all right. This bowl was huge, like. The, the cake plate there was very pretty. It was modern, but it was very pretty. Um, but the, there's a glass bowl right here on the next shelf down. And it was probably a foot wide, foot and a half. I mean, it was ginormous. Ginormous. Look at that. That's a console bowl, if I've ever seen one. That's huge. I think this was like a little just craft, like a Halloween craft building little kit. And this is just another their like health things, health and beauty. And then it always just turns into crafts. <laughs> health and beauty and crafts are always like right there together. <laughs> Furnace filters. I saw this and I was like, oh, I wish they had four because we were making a homemade air filter or air purifier. And um, I was needing to buy four of them anyway. And I actually found more on the next wall. So I did pick those up for cheaper than I would have got them brand new at Walmart. These ones are new. So I was happy. I debated getting these bowls because my oldest boy eats a lot of cereal. Actually, my boyfriend does too. Um, but just to have uh, extra plastic bowls, I, I debated picking them up. But I didn't. I think the skillet said 8, 830 something. That was a cute little vintage pot there. Another really pretty end cap. This one is red, white, and blue, like 4th of July picnic themed. Um, again, they, they do a great job with their theming. And this is back in the toy aisle at the very back. 
had the puzzles, had the toys. And again, I was trying to show you the price and I don't know if you'll get to see it or not, but I'll try my darndest to type them in there. And then this is a new section on that back wall or on the side wall. Um, this is their new their section of new stuff, so that's where I got the filters <laughs> for three thirty three a piece. And then they had a little bit of like suitcases and then bigger toys right here. And they had some bats and some Hot Wheels things, and one little baggie that I quickly glance at. And then we're going to turn the corner here and go along the very back wall, and it is like their electronics, um, pretty much all the way down to the doors to the doors that go to the back room. A couple of VCRs. There's always an Instapot. There's always, you know, you, you get to go to see so many of these stores and each just like, like I had said before, I need to make like a bingo, like a Goodwill bingo. <laughs> ah, you get to see the same things over and over again. That was a camera flash. Uh, sometimes it, depending on the name and brand, they can do decently well. I didn't recognize it. doesn't mean that it's not worth anything, but I didn't recognize it offhand. So I just decided to leave it really vintage calculator there. I almost said typewriter and <laughs> I do know the difference. I am old enough for that. <laughs> My birthday is actually coming up next month. So I'm excited. And then this is their mug section with their glasses and things. I was hoping to find more of the handmade mugs that was on the other that was on the other side. I didn't find any, but it was still neat to look around and see. So dollar thirty three, I think, was the average on the mugs. And then the cookware and some plates and things of that nature. And then those are plates that were all matchy, but they did have them individually priced and I think it was like two eleven a piece. And these are little, just cute little snack sets. And then this is the end cap with the blue. And another little end cap there. So this must be green and white. I was looking here at the syrup holders to see if they were like a vintage, like a Pyrex. Um, they weren't. They were plastic on the bottom, and they were very modern. And I don't. I don't remember. I. I just know it didn't say Pyrex. <laughs> Little figurines was so cute. She was actually a Joseph's original. Um. In my opinion, though, she was painted very poorly. You. I. I've sold quite a few Joseph originals, and the, even though their painting's not like exquisite, like she just felt like she was lacking. A lot of it so I don't know if she just had a lot of wear but some most most of those don't really sell for too high a value you really have to be picky and do your due diligence looking them up to see what the selling prices are or sold what the sold prices are because people will list stuff on eBay that it's for sale but that, you know, so people go and they, they see those prices that are for sale and they're like, oh, but you have to look at what they're selling for. You know what I mean? I did buy these, this bag of icicles just for that box, mainly. Um, they're vintage crystal itty bitty icicles, very thin. Um, a box of them sells for about $16. 
and then there was a whole bunch of plastic and some glass longer ones in there too so I think the bought the bag was five dollars so I, I bought that to get those little ones out and then the plastic ones I'll probably keep for myself and then the glass ones probably sell but just selling the older crystal ones you know will put me in the profit a little bit anyway I think this little seal here was stone because he was very heavy like I tried I tried to move him to see and I didn't see anything like a maker and he was very slippery so I'm like oh he is stone yeah it was felted on the bottom but he he was he was heavy <laughs> he was very cute but he was heavy There's a little Santa Claus head back there that he didn't have eyes. So it's like he was a mask that you would put on the wall, but it was Santa's head with beard, but no eyes. He was ceramic, I think, yeah. So it was different. It was quite different. Little kitty cat there was cute. A glass vase there. They had a lot to look at. Like, that's the thing is, like, sometimes you can just walk down the aisle and you're looking and you're like, nothing grabs your attention to look at it and look, look, you know. Um, this lamp I was very excited about. And then when I did my eBay search and looked it up, I realized that there's supposed to be a top on it as well with more balloons. Because I was wondering, I'm like, why are people leaving it here? Because I assumed that the light went down in it and then the top stayed open just for heat. But no, there's a whole top section that was missing. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense as to why it's still here. <laughs> and then these were just some cute little uh, cards that were there. Somebody had donated or they had bought. Very pretty. And then this is a still back along the back wall. This is their movie section. And then their books. And then this is their picture frame area and just photos and things like that. So I do take a, you know, 333 I think was the price on that one. And then they had a whole bunch of these collector plates, the wolves. Um, there was nine, I think, there all together. It was very nice that it had the frame. And then this was just um, on the end cap was the holiday, and then just on the other side, it turned into more holiday. So it was nice. Like, I like seeing it all year, but it almost kind of makes it not as exciting when you do see it out in the store. Because then you're like, oh, Christmas is coming. Like, here, you know, it's there all year. So, it's just, you don't get that rush. But I would assume closer to Christmas and closer to Halloween, you would get a lot more stuff on the shelves. That Santa was just so cute. He was just so nostalgic. It's just, he was a music box, so he started playing as soon as I picked him up. Um, but he, he, he was in my head what I always have envisioned Santa. So, that was nice. Little grapevine reindeer. And then a big box Santa. Well, it's a teddy bear, actually. Then this moves back into their blankets um, along the back wall. So we're continuing now along the back wall. And I actually found sheets for myself. Um, we, ha we have been in need of a new set of sheets. And they had a whole full set for a queen. A uh, fitted sheet, flat sheet, two pillowcases for six seventy seven. dollars Like... I, so yeah, I, I, as soon as I got them, I was feeling them because it, it's all about the thread count, you know. 
So I uh, paused and then I called Tati and I'm like, do you want to get sheets? They're six dollars. <laughs> so, of course we did that. And then you just continue along the back wall and it turns into clothes. And then once you turn the corner, you're right there with the big furniture. Um, oh, my phone's going to die. This chest, I was, oh, I wanted this chest so bad. But it didn't have a key. The little chest right there. It didn't have a key. It made me so sad. Because <laughs> it was cheap. <laughs> and as soon as I started to pick it up, it wouldn't move. And I'm like, ah, that's why it's cheap. <laughs> but that's okay. But they have their big area here, furniture, and then it just moves right on into where their dressing rooms are. And um, the couple trunks there was just so cool. They have a nice variety of stuff at these stores, especially up in Canton. And I don't know if it's just because, I would assume it's just because of there's so many more people up there. Um, they have so many stores. Like that, end table, that coffee table I just love. The cabinet, I think it was like 65 bucks. Yeah. That little cabinet there was adorable. And then here's some more ladies' clothes, the fitting room. And then it just swings over into the rest of the store where you can see the clothes and the hard goods back there to the right. And that is it for me for this store. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Alright, I just finished 